we want to generate this page actually where you have one, two, three, four frames to be generated. For this, you need to understand one concept. This frame over here is divided into two columns. Let's say 50%, 50%. Now, this last frame for that 50%, right? 50, uh, let me write it somewhere. Actually, you have your frame, 50%. 50% right now inside that 50% you have uh, your required uh, path so what will be the 50% it will be divided into another frame first of all this will be divided as two rows we go inside that one row we divide it as 50% 50% may seem quite difficult but not really it is right so let's assume I'm going to use again the four pages for car case study right so starting with frame set right it's divided into calls as 50 percent 50 percent you can put a star that is whatever the rest of the screen is will be there right now whatever we have inside here will be frame here we put it source, let's put it as car.html right, I have already shown you how to use target so it doesn't matter, I'm not going to show you again how to use target I'm just showing how to do nested frame set right, we'll have another frame set inside now what is it doing this 50% is for this frame set this star is for this frame set. Now we go to source, uh, not really source but we go to actually rows we divide it as 20% and then required is star. Right that is we're dividing, let's divide it by 50% and the rest is star. Now this 50% is already occupied here that is uh, we'll ha we don't have to actually redivide it again. So whenever there is no redivision required, you just insert a frame to it, right? I'm just going to copy it here, push it here, and uh, let's give it a by now that HTML. Now we go inside another frame set. here when you go inside another frame set right this is another frame set uh, actually let's say I'm putting okay let's buy now go doesn't matter uh, now this frame set is 50 percent let's put another one which is here uh, this one is another let it be by now right so one frame set divide it has sorry has divided this into two columns 50 percent 50 percent we go inside the first one which is 50 percent and then stop right one is inserted as by now that HTML we go inside the second one we do a frame set by 50 percent stop first one is asserted as by now second one is, is asserted by by now right this is another frame set that closes here and the first one closes here and the main frame set closes that generates that will generate the required page over there right that here if you take a look I had divided it as two rows as 30 percent normally you should do it by calls right whenever you have to divide in this way it's normally calls right then you're going to have this page again as required very simple and very interesting. Uh, now let's try to be a bit, uh, how will you say, a bit uh, crazy. Let's put this, uh, then we see what happened. Okay, a totally crazy website has been generated. Okay, uh, okay. Normally, I don't really like people to use frame. Uh, I don't like people when they use frame because 
it's kind of disgusting to use frame alone. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to introduce you to the XAMP, that is a, a local host server that you're going to do, uh, that you're going to use actually for XAMP, uh, for PHP, sorry. Okay, so you just Google XAMP, you go here, you go to the download page of Windows here, right? You download and install it, right? Uh, you install uh, XAMP. Then you, after installing, you will have uh, the required control to access XAMP, right? Uh, XAMP, uh, that is Apache Friends, then XAMP. Then you go to XAMP Control Panel actually to uh, enable the required. By default, when it has already been uh, installed, it will do the required uh, installation that it will activate the Apache, it will activate the MySQL for you. Now to make sure it is actually working, you go to HTTP column slash slash local host. Once you just click it, now you have successfully installed Exam. Now you will see that you can actually access your database uh, here. Now here, let's close it, phpMyAdmin, where you can actually create your database which we'll be using in PHP. Now in the next session I'm going to show you how to use the server side include. Uh, actually here 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 are my database in phpMyAdmin and we'll be creating database to create login and much more right and it's not over yet the last thing that I have to teach you in HTML is forms the most important thing guy we cannot let things go like this right you will have at least two important sessions on forms that we'll be using to access this but first I'm going to server side include then I'm going to show you forms and uh, we finish with basic HTML, we move on to JavaScript. Okay, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.